Good Tuesday, early, chilly morning in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in the Midwest. This is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, and we just wanted to give you a quick uh, update on my way to work to Rivian. Remember Rivian when it goes IPO sometime this year? Buy that shit. That's an emergency buy alert when it comes out for Rivian. But Dogecoin, you can see pumped a little bit last night. We'll start there real briefly. You can see volume came back in a little bit. So that's positive news if you're long. You can see that volume came in. You see it, it's attempting to break out right there of our pattern. We said it had till here to break out. So that was literally like right now and it decided to do it last night. Um, if we zoom in in the 15 minute time frame, you can see that you had some good, see in that circle, you had some good volume pump in. So that's bullish on the breakout. Now you're gonna need to see if it can either A, continue to pump from here, or B, does it come back down and retest that as, re as support now? And then if it does indeed retest here, does it get a bullish breakout or a bearish confirmation? So that'll be something we closely watch today. The level to watch would be Fuck, I always forget that stupid shit's on. The level to watch today would be that 45 cent level right here. If it comes down and retests that, and then can it hold support and break up? Or does it fail support, come back down to the lower support purple box at 42 cents and then break down from there? Very, very important to watch Doge right there. If we run down through DGB, same thing. Didn't pump back as much last night. Um, so I'd continue to watch that. A critical level is, uh, there's overhead resistance now. If we zoom out, it's actually way back up there now. No, it actually pumped. You can see support down here. It pumped back up there a little bit last night. So that's your critical level to watch on DGB. This is an uptrending support line. So today it'd be like the 12 cents, 12 and a half, 13 cents right in that range. If it breaks that, it's gonna break down probably and come down to 11. If it holds this, it could pump back up to the upper resistance line, which we would get close enough to draw it back out. You see it up there? Okay, so that's a very important spot to watch there. Um, the gold price had a benign night. It's up $4 an ounce, so it's really doing nothing right now. We'll give you an extensive update on the gold and silver price today in a dual video like subscribe and share hit the bell notifications uh this is a uh, shout out to all 77 subscribers um we have a building audience in the united kingdom welcome united kingdom uh, uh malaysia we have a little bit of an audience in malaysia although we lost a few people last night out of malaysia but we added in a new group in indonesia so welcome indonesia you are checking into our audience, and we appreciate your support. Hit the like, subscribe, notifications. Um, we hit Dogecoin, we hit DGB. Ethereum continues. It's massive, massive bull run. So that's something else to keep a lookout for, right? See what goes on with Ethereum today. We'll give a quick check up on that later on. I'm driving right now. Um, it's a little bit hard to do this while you drive. AAU, GPL, Fortuna Silver we'll go over today. I know you guys are very excited about those companies. And we're very excited to give you some breaking news on those today. Go over some earnings, you know, figure some shit out. Help you guys out. You guys help me out by liking, subscribing, and sharing. We'll watch Dogecoin today because it's just a hot coin right now and there's a lot of attention, so we feel like it's a good idea to cover it. And that's your critical zone, right? This right here, that's critical, critical zone. See what happens is it, if it comes back down to retest that. That's what we're gonna be watching today. Pay attention, two things to pay attention to. That downwards, upper now support. Um, we'll make that 
uh, brighter color, the yellow, it stands out more. Pay attention if you trade back down and you come and retest that downwards support line now after it broke it, after it was short-term resistance. Remember yesterday we went over and said that when it was the red line, now it's the yellow line, that that was short-term resistance, overhead resistance now. Well, with the nice volume pump last night, you broke through that. So now you want to watch to see if it trades down slowly today and then attempts to retest that and hold it as, confirm it as support. If it confirms it as support, then you're going to go back up. Just like I was telling you guys yesterday that if you broke up, if you watched that video last night, it's got a few views, some good comments on it. I said if it broke this, your next logical target would be to retest that green upper resistance box now, right? So that's something to pay attention to. If you come back down and you retest the lower support on the Dow Warren's trending um, support zone, yellow line, and you hold that, you pick up some good buy volume, and you pump, your next logical target would be up at the overhead resistance that's running from, if you hit the resistance later in the future, the price will be higher up when you touch it. Or if you hit it earlier, the price will be slightly lower because it's an uptrending upper res overhead resistance. So that's very, very important to watch on the Doge. Go into the one minute time frame. You can see that's the only thing I don't like. There's been some pumps in volume, but then it dies right out and there's no um, sustaining and confirmation of the pumping volume. That's very critical. Whenever you see a pump in volume, see that poor little point tool out here? See that down here? See how you got that pump in volume real quick? But then right after it, the next few candles, it just died again. That's bearish. You wanna see a continuation of the pumping volume. You don't just wanna see a five minute candle pump or a one 15 minute pump and then the next 15 minute and the next 15 minute and the next 15 minute the volume dies that's bearish the initial pump and volume on the breakout was bullish but the uh, trailing volume after that is bearish because it's dead there's not it seems like the volume has died out of the doge the doge is lost can you fucking believe the doge lost its volume i can that's why we gave you that critical sell alert or if you're a long-term hodler like i always say Long-term hodlers, none of this applies to you. You just pick a good time to buy. That's why I was saying last night on that double bottom, if you're a long-term hodler, that might've been a good time to accumulate a little bit more on a 48% um, decline from the top. It always makes a difference when you're accumulating on long-term hodling positions to buy on the dip if you're a long-term hodler. Like your dip 48% from the top, perfect time to, uh, accumulate and hodl um some more remember to like subscribe and share this was just a short video on my way to work um peace and love peace and love i'm going to give you updates on the gold market the silver market gpl aau um we'll go over and see where doge is at later on today get a little bit of xl um, uh, xrp update we'll dip back into our dgb fan base and community and give you an update on there as we're trying to hold critical support. Um, peace and love, peace and love.